All right, let's wrangle these up here. And I think you know pretty much what we're going to do, right? We're going to give it a, we are going to give these a background color of black. We're going to give them a, a text color of white. We're going to set the LI items to display inline block and we'll put some padding around them. We'll set up a hover to be red. Maybe we'll make it orange because that would look so much nicer. Uh, we will create this drop down menu, which I don't know if you've ever done before. Maybe you haven't. So let's get at that and we'll do these things one at a time so that you can see what we're doing. So this is where we'll start, right? Right here. We'll go to our styles. And I'm going to make, let's see, this is the sub nav, this is the content. I think the best spot for these styles is above the header. And I'll put a little comment here that, oof, a little comment here that says, styling the navigation with drop down. And that way we'll have, oof, we'll have it set up here while, just because you, you may, you may want to look back at this. Styling the rest. I'm just calling it that for now because I don't know what to say, right? I'm losing my train of thought here and I don't want to do that. So we will begin with the background color and it is called, let me just make sure if this is what this uh, section is called. It's called the main nav. It's an ID. And so main nav. So the main thing we want to say here to start with, just to get things going, is background color. Blacks are zeros. Maybe it's more of a gray. Let's try the darkest gray that I know. Save. And let's take a peek at it. Yeah, that's black. That's dark gray. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. All right, let's make that text white so we can see what we're doing and it's the a's that i want white not everything else so i'm going to use a descendant selector here main nav space a and i'll call it white and let's get rid of the underlined save that and see what it's looking like. Okay. It's white and the underline is gone. But let's get these side by side. So we're gonna and put some padding around it. So to put them side by side, once again, I think you might remember this, but if you don't, this is just a review. So We're going to say, we're going to an do another descendant selector on the LI so that we can put some padding on this. Okay, so main nav and its child is LI. And we will say display. And we want this to be inline block and padding which we'll put all the way around and we'll just make it one em just to keep things easy there we go this is looking pretty good now we need to get these three to drop down out of that but before we do that let's get the background color on Whew. i mean a lot of styling uh, hover. So 
hover is a pseudo class and we'll begin with our parent tag main nav now we'll go to the child li and now we'll give it the pseudo class of hover and the hover is just a background color let's do red because that's what our instructions ask for and then let's change it there it is so this one is perfect these have a little space above so they would need more padding but when we take this line and push it down I think they'll be fine um, come on let's change it to orange rebel 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 save oh so much nicer right all right, so the drop down content. First, let's tell it not to show. Let's do that first. And again, this is a lot of styling. Yep. Main nav. Dot drop down. We're styling a class that is already on the HTML. Hyphen content. Okay, that's the content. We'll first tell it, please don't show up if you're going to show up the way you're doing it. Display, none. Save, let's look at it. Okay, now these look fine. But now we need to deal with that drop down content. Let's make it display correctly. Main nav. Sometimes I have to say these things to myself out loud. To remember that they'll be the right thing and a we want the a tag to show and now we'll say display block and cross our fingers <laughs> say. display block and <clears throat> oops don't need a capital p there position absolute let's do a save and a refresh about there they are all right it's a good start 